Once upon a time, Pomi and Momi, two beautiful birds, lived happily with their mother in Iceland. They loved each other dearly, always looking out for one another. As the winter season started, the cold winds blew. Their mother turned to Pomi and Momi and said, It's too cold here. We need to leave. Pomi looked up and asked, Where will we go? Mama? Momi chirped. I hope we find a sunny place. Their mother smiled. We will find a warm place. Don't worry. The next morning, they took flight and began their long journey. Along the way, they took short breaks to rest and gather strength. After flying for days, they finally reached a beautiful, green forest. This is exactly what we needed. Momi said it with joy. They landed and rested for days, happily eating the grain scattered all around. After two days of rest, their mother said, It's time to build our home. Pomi said excitedly, I will gather the twigs. Momi added, I will find the soft leaves for the bedding. Together, they carefully bound the twigs to form sturdy walls and a strong floor. Once the home was built, they decorated it with colorful flowers and soft leaves. Finally, they made beds from leaves and feathers. Their new home became a peaceful haven. It was warm and beautiful, a perfect place to rest. One early morning, Pomi and Momi woke up before their mother. Let's make some porridge. Pomi said, and they quickly prepared it, stirring it in a small pot. They served the breakfast. And when their mother woke up, she joined them. They ate happily. After breakfast, they set out together to find food. One day, Pomi noticed Mom still in bed, shivering. You don't look well. He said, his voice full of concern. I feel so weak. She whispered, her voice faint. I think I have a fever. Pomi immediately rushed to get Momi. We need to take her to Dr. Rabbit, said Pomi. They helped Mother to Dr. Rabbit's clinic, where he examined her. Hmm. Your mother has a fever and is too weak. Dr. Rabbit said kindly. He handed them a small bottle of medicine. Give her this. And she will feel better soon. Pomi and Momi helped mother get back home after taking the medicine. One day, Pomi heard a sparrow talking nearby. I saw a man in the village who spread grains of maize and corn under the banyan tree. 
The sparrow said excitedly. Pomi told Momi, and both decided to visit that tree to collect some food. For the next few months. They both flew together in search of the village tree. They realized that the village was very far from their nest in the forest. So, they could not collect the food and returned. Pomi got an idea one day and told his brother Momi. Our mother is sick and cannot fly. She must be hungry. And we will be there so far from her. We must somehow send the food to our mother. We can ask the sparrows, pigeons, and crows, who fly near our home to give these grains to our mother. Momi agreed to the plan. The next morning, Pomi and Momi went to that tree and started collecting the corn. They gave some part of it to their fellow birds and asked them to give it to their old mother. But the clever birds ate all the food on their way and didn't give anything to Pomi and Momi's mother. One day, Pomi sighed and said, I keep thinking about Mama. She must be missing us. And I miss her too. Momi's eyes lit up with a smile. Yes. Let's go and surprise her. Pomi and Momi carefully picked up their pouches of food grains in their beaks. Let's hurry back home. Mama will be so happy. Pomi said. And they flew off together toward their lovely home. When Pomi and Momi returned home, they found their mother barely moving, her breaths weak and shallow. Mama! Pomi cried, his voice trembling as tears filled her eyes. Go get water! Hurry! He shouted to Momi. Momi dropped his grains and flew to the stream as fast as his wings could carry him. He quickly filled his pouch with some water and rushed back. While waiting, Pomi placed grains in their mother's mouth, hoping she would respond. As soon as Momi returned, Pomi carefully poured drops of water into her mouth. Slowly, their mother stirred and opened her eyes. They both wept with relief, hugging her tightly. Then Pomi and Momi rushed to Mrs. Jojo the Sparrow's home. You eat the grains! We sent for our mother! Pomi shouted angrily. If we hadn't come back in time, she could have died. Next, they flew to Mr. Ruru the pigeon's home. How could you eat the grains? We sent for our mother? Pomi asked, his voice filled with frustration. You nearly caused her to die. They decided to stay near their mother and protect her. 
In a nearby village, there lived a hunter named Lewis. He spent his days hunting animals in the forest and selling them in the market for a living. One day, while hunting in the forest, Lewis saw a beautiful bird. He shot it and placed it in his bag and continued his hunt. Then he sold the animals at the market. Afterward, he went to the grocery store to buy spices, oil, soap, and a few other items. When Lewis returned home, he gave the groceries to his wife and proudly showed her the bird he had shot. I will cook this tonight. It will be delicious, he said with a smile. The kids were excited, but his wife frowned. You shouldn't have shot that little bird, she scolded. It's not enough to fill us, and it was killed just for your taste. That's not right. But Lewis ignored her, cooked the bird, and enjoyed it with the kids. One day, Lewis came to the forest as usual. During hunting, he got tired and sat down under the shade of a tree. When Lewis woke up from his sleep, he saw the mother of Pomi and Momi sat on a tree, with Pomi and Momi beside her. The hunter was amazed and thought, Oh, how beautiful the birds are. If I hunt them, the meat will be delicious. The hunter took his bow and arrow and aimed at the mother bird. On seeing this, Pomi came in front to shield his mother and pleaded to the hunter. Oh, hunter! If you really want to kill some bird, then please take my life and leave my mother alive. But, the cruel hunter laughed and said, You foolish bird. You are pleading me to save a life. Ha! Ah. The hunter shot an arrow right away. And it pierced through Pomi's throat and he died. The hunter again boldly and happily targeted to kill the mother bird. Next time he aimed his arrow, Momi came ahead to protect his mother and cried. Oh, Hunter! You please take my life instead. But, I request you to please leave our mother safe and alive. The hunter was very cruel and adamant. He first killed Momi and then killed the mother. He was very happy. Then he placed them in his bag and reached home. He found a fire burning in his house. And the neighbors were trying to put it out. But they couldn't. No one was alive. As Lewis stood in the smoke, one neighbor said, We tried, but the fire was too strong. We couldn't save anything. Tears streamed down Lewis's face as he shouted, 
I'm so sorry. God! What have I done? Moral Selfishness and cruelty bring regret and loss.